Okay, guys, welcome to the Chosen One podcast show. If you landed on this podcast episode, you are probably a manifesting generator and a female entrepreneur, coach, or expert. So welcome, take a cup of tea, and listen, binge listen to all the amazing episodes I have set up for you. Episodes to help you create the right energy and mindset to create the manifesting generator business and life of your dreams. Here we go. Okay, guys, so I'm going to record this podcast episode. Um, It's a very special episode because I just hosted a beautiful workshop, which was called the Reclaim Your Energy Workshop. We had about 140 signups and about 15 people who joined uh, live. Um, I always have a lower percentage of people who show up live and a lot of people watch the replays. Somehow, this particular call did not get recorded. It's not somehow. I just didn't press the record, <laughs> record button. But that's pretty interesting because this was literally something that I thought I needed to share with the people who signed up. This tends to happen. When I'm like in pure channel mode, I forget about all of this stuff. I forget to press record. I don't care about all that stuff because I just know that the exact right women will be live at the portal. So if you have signed up for this particular masterclass, the Reclaim Your Energy Masterclass, and you weren't able to join live, um, I'm (laughs) apologizing. Uh, I'm sorry, because it was an amazing, amazing masterclass where we literally channeled. I showed you how to channel. I showed you how your inner voice looks inside your body, how you can recognize it. It was so valuable. And um, it was truly a higher calling to everybody present to become a master in your own energy. Um, I do not know what the higher if there is a higher meaning why I didn't record it or if it's just because I'm like so in channel mode that those are just things that I forget I have to like like have to wait for the answer around that maybe it's just like a technical thing and I need somebody present from my team to remind me of those things because when I'm in channel mode I just forget those things I feel like that's truly what's going on here um so I might rehost it I might create an an extra masterclass for the people who signed up. I'm not quite sure yet. Will be continued. I will send out this particular podcast episode to everybody who signed up so that you know what's been going on. Okay. So yesterday, like I had a very interesting day today because I was packed with uh, appointments today uh, with um, new clients and with my current clients and. I literally channeled like full time, like we did like past life healings, we did channel exercises, we did so many beautiful things. And it's all linked to how to run a successful business, right? So everything I do somehow is also always connected to building a very successful business as a manifesting generator in a way that is truly aligned to you as a manifesting generator. Um. They kept showing me a new portal, the portal of becoming a master in your own energy, an eight week portal to really master your own energy, but also to understand how you can actually teach this to your own clients. Okay, so it's not particularly a self healing portal. It's like really a portal to become a master in energy and to also learn the tools on how you can teach this or use this to help your clients, your own particular clients. So it is a portal for coaches or people who want to use this work to heal or transcend other people's lives. Okay. So by going through this portal, you will get all the initiations. You will receive eight initiations from me. We do eight initiations and you will have multiple sessions where you're going to practice with other MGs that signed up for this portal to master these skills. And then you can actually use these skills to benefit your own particular clients. At the same time, you're healing yourself as well. So it's like double. You're healing yourself 
and you're learning to become a master so you can teach this to your clients or use it in a benefit of your clients so that your clients can make faster progressions in the portals that you work with them in, okay? Um, it doesn't matter what kind of coach you are or if you're a photographer or a, um, a marketing coach, this is something you can incorporate in your current business. So let's say you are a marketing coach, but you want to take the, uh, the, um, the um, how do you say that, the results of your particular clients to a next level. You can incorporate this energy work in your portals so they can get next level results. By working with me, you will be initiated into the mastery level. So you will receive energetic initiations from me each week. And that will actually upgrade your system. It's like on a cell level, you are, you are charged with the initiation energy. And that will make you remember things that you weren't able to remember without the initiation. So it's a very interesting program. I'm very humbled that they have showed it to me and that I get to host this. This is not something I would normally think of creating, but it was so clear to me that they said you have to create a mastery, um, a mastery. Um, yeah, it's like the Dutch word is opleiding and I don't know the English word for it. It's like not a course. It's like a trip, like it's a proper training. It's like a uni like as if you go to the university, right? It's a university for energy work. Interestingly enough, they're showing me that this particular portal is not only for manifesting generators. It's been interesting to receive more and more downloads from Rose that the Rose portals will be open to all energy types, which is interesting for me because I'm so focused on manifesting generators. Um, the... Um, uh, all my business portals will still only be for manifesting generators, but this specific specific um, I still find I'm still looking for the right word, but let's say the mastery university portal, like the 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 opleiding. I'm I'm just calling it in a Dutch. The opleiding that is for all energy types. Everybody can join because this is really like taking the world to a next level. And in order for the world to like to to like I'm so in the channel mode, I can't, I can't even believe this for us to get to that next level, there need to be more. And I don't like the word light workers, but there need to be more energy workers activated. And in order to become better at the energy work, we need to have masters like myself that help you go through the initiation. So I will literally help you um well I, I will pass on the initiations so you can get to the next level and serve at a higher level it's it's a beautiful beautiful portal i'm so i'm so excited about it if you want more information about this you can just send me an email and we will um see together if it's the right fit for you um i know that they will show me exactly who is the right fit and who is not um um yeah, so just just send me an email if it's something you want to learn more about. Okay, yesterday I received um, some channeled information about why this podcast is called The Chosen One. And I'm going to read that for you guys. So I'm Sophie. <laughs> Rose is that part of me. Through her, I received the universal information. Like I said, I explained this way more in depth in the workshop that I hosted today. I actually show you that you are channeling all the time. You, you just don't know that you know it. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, yesterday I channeled a piece and I want to share that with you. So my question was, why is this podcast called The Chosen One? Uh, by the way, um, I love, like, this is something that came up in a workshop as well, because we did this exercise where we were, we were actually gonna, we were channeling. And uh, what tends to happen when you channel that your thoughts go faster than you can write. So then like I can keep up with writing. So typing it works better. And there was some other there was another beautiful soul, soul in the course as well or in the masterclass who channels a lot as well. And she's like, I always use a keyword when I channel. My advice is use a keyword when you channel because that like it's better. <laughs> you can keep up more. Anyways. 
Um, this is something I channeled on my phone that always works very well. So why is it? So it always says like I will put the um, text in the show notes because when I channel, they tend to use specific. Um, they will highlight specific words or they would will put specific words in capital letters and they will also use the is sign as an is um yeah which you like the the, the two stripes above each other oh my god this is so <laughs> like just look at the text and it will make sense okay uh, that's in the show notes so sophie why is this podcast called the chosen one and then rose they say Dear Sophie, they always start with Dear Sophie, thank you for tuning back into us once more. It will serve your audience in a tremendous way. That being said, we want to emphasize that we that what we are sharing here and the way we are communicating with you is not rare. It's the way we desire to work with everyone. Not everybody is ready for this, but your audience is. And this is a reminder for them to develop the skill to communicate to us in any way, shape or form. Okay, so why the chosen one? This is the name we showed you. And thank you for following up on this. We know this wasn't easy. Under all the people in human race, there are people that are selected to lead the blind to see again, the deaf to hear again and the senseless to feel again. This takes courage. It's not easy. A lot of old trauma will be triggered when you start honoring your call. The lower frequencies, and this is without any judgment, won't yet get it. They will feel it. They will love you for it. But on a physical level, they might shun you. This can feel really scary. This can feel scary and lonely. And this podcast, among other beautiful resources out there, will give your community the courage to do what they are called to do. Sophie, okay, thank you. So my audience is part of the chosen one. Rose, they are the chosen ones. And part of your job is to help them embrace that role and lead the way for them. Sophie. Okay, great. Is there anything else you guys want to share today? Rose. For now, this is what needs to be shared. Let your audience ease into this new frequency you are sharing again. This time in a language, English, that will reach a larger audience. And make no mistake about it. Everything went exactly as we had planned it for you. You never forgot about us, but we needed you to forget for a bit so we would have the time to orchestrate it. Sophie, is this also why certain people play a specific role? Rose, dear Sophie, we could get into this, but then we have to become more specific and that's not for now. But yes, in essence, everyone in your life plays a role to help you remember on a deeper level what you already know. We call them angels in disguise. Or, as you might phrase it, little devils in disguise. And the end, at the end, it's the same. They simply serve the purpose to make you see again what you couldn't see up until now. Okay, loves. This was it. <laughs> I'll put the text in the show notes. You can send me an email if you want more information about the Mastery Portal. And um, yeah so excited that I got to share this I'm so humble and um, um, again I'm sorry to everybody who signed up and who missed this beautiful um, beautiful masterclass um, I hope this podcast makes up for some of it and um, something else something beautiful will come to you from me in the near future maybe it's the it's the paid portal the mastery portal I said that at 1555, which is beautiful, and uh, maybe in any other shape or form, okay? Just follow your trust, follow your instinct, follow your intuition, and if you're called to learn more about the portal, simply send me an email. Bye for now.